So what do you think of uh, Mike Shanahan in his first season here with the Redskins uh, based on, on what happens uh, today against the Giants? Uh, they'll either have six wins or, or seven wins this season, which is better than last year. So how do you think he did in his first year? In his first year, what can you say? We're more than we were last year, and he's got to go through everybody and the personnel and figure out what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. Do you think he restored some some respect uh, to the organization, given that last year was so tumultuous, and at, at least this year uh, they do seem to be gaining some momentum toward the end of the season? Oh, certainly. I mean, the, he has brought uh, a good level of respect back, and they respect the coach, and you can tell the guys who want to play for him and the ones who don't. Mm -hmm. What about the uh, the controversies regarding uh, Albert Hainsworth and Donovan McNabb? Uh, Hainsworth, of course, was suspended for the last four games of the season. McNabb was benched twice, including for the uh, last three games. How do you think he handled those situations? The Hainsworth deal was a little bit too late. They should have done did that earlier. That was a cancer to the team. I don't, you know, he just did not want to be a team player. The McNabb deal, I'm not sold either way on. You know, he's been a a big ticket item for everything from souvenirs to playing on the team, but he just didn't perform. So what can you say? The guy, he might not be the most popular, but the coach made a decision and he went with it. Do you think McNabb will be on the team next year? I do not. I do. As a fan, I don't think so. He hadn't performed up to the specifications of Shanahan, evidently. Mm -hmm. So then what do you think the, the Redskins' biggest off-season moves will be? Well, they need to definitely get a healthier defense. And I think they're going to have to look at the quarterback position. You know, they're definitely going to have to look at that and see where their needs are going to carry them. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been uh, nearly two decades since the Redskins uh, won their last Super Bowl, Super Bowl 26. Uh, when will they win another one? I don't know. I'm a diehard fan, but it's it's been painful. I'm going to say hopefully within two or three years, if they let Shanahan do his job with the management that's in place, I think within two or three years they can build to something. Mike Shanahan is uh, finishing up his first season coaching the Redskins. Based on how they do today, they'll fi finish with either six or seven wins. How would you assess his first season as the Redskins coach? Um, honestly, I've been very disappointed. Obviously, we've done better than we did last year, but um, I expected a lot more. I'm most disappointed with the way he just seems to have destroyed this clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Well, what do, you, what do you think, of though, of the way he, he will finish with uh, more wins than last season. Do you think he's restored some, some respect uh, to, and credibility to the organization? It's not even a winning season. I don't call Coach that Ice. respect and credibility. Um, I, the goal is to make it back to the playoffs. We're not there. We expect it to be there this year, and I'm disappointed. What do you think of the way he handled the Albert Hainsworth and Donovan McNabb controversies, uh, suspending Hainsworth uh, toward the end of the season and then benching McNabb toward the end of the season as well? Um, Hainsworth created a lot of his own problems, to be honest. I don't think he handled it well. I think he was more so looking to show who's in charge and not thinking what's best for the team. But honestly, Albert created a lot of his own problems. Donovan was the exact opposite, though. He was the epitome of class the whole way through, and it was despicable the way he treated him. So do you think Donovan McNabb deserves to be back on the team next year? As a self-respecting individual, I'm sure he's done the lip service saying he'd be happy to come back, but I would feel badly for him as a person if he ended up back here because he deserves better. And what do you think the Redskins' biggest off-season needs are? Offensive line. I would say that's, I mean, we still, we need a pass rush. We need a quarterback. Rex Grossman is not the answer. Um, I would say we, anything we do, though, you need an offensive line to protect your quarterback. Mm -hmm. So I would say offensive line is the main need. Now, young man, uh, when do you think the Redskins will win their next Super Bowl? I don't know. <laughs> give, me, give me your best guess. Yes. Next season? That's I, like that, I like that optimism. <laughs> I hope it comes true. How would you assess uh, Mike Shanahan's first season as the Redskins coach uh, based on how they do today? They'll have either six or, or seven wins on the season. Gonna miss Zorn. Zorn was the man. Zorn had it going on. 
Just not enough time for him. Really? Do you think that's what it was? It wasn't enough time for him to prove himself? Absolutely. He uh, kind of, you know, came in under a different uh, coaching strategy and uh, wasn't even supposed to be the head coach and uh, laid it out and was starting to build something. They let him go too early. Mm -hmm. Now I see you're wearing a number 92 jersey. Uh, Little Hainsworth. Hainsworth. Uh, what do you think of the way Mike Shanahan handled the Albert Hainsworth controversy? Well, I think it's good. I think that, uh, you know, over the past five, six years, they turned uh, football into a big business, and they finally have a player that's treating it like a business and showing them how, to, how business works. I think he's done a good job, and uh, look forward to seeing him here next year. You think Albert's done a good job? Yes. And do you think realistically, though, he will be back with I the do. Redskins next year? I do. I think he's, uh, you know, double teamed all the time. He proves a lot to everybody out there and uh, you know just because he like I said treats it like a business and no longer like a sport that's what the NFL's done. Now what do you think the Redskins biggest offseason needs will be? Get it together. I mean there's too many to list. Uh, they need a they need a lot of lot of lot of changes. Um, pinpoint one can't really pinpoint one. Just get it playing like a team together. What about predictions for next season? It'll be Mike Shanahan's second year. He does have two Super Bowl rings. Is he, is he going to turn things around? I don't think it'll be next year. Let's go for three. Let's, let's look at 2013. 2013 will be, what, NFC East uh, winner, Super Bowl winner? Well, we can go on the line and say uh, Super Bowl winner, but uh, no, we'll say East winner. Mike Shanahan is wrapping up his first season as the Redskins coach. Uh, how would you assess uh, his performance? Uh, the Redskins will have six or seven wins based on how they do today against the Giants, which is better than last season. Much better than last season, but Good I Giants. think there was a lot of improvement still needed. I don't think the coaches really got the players. I don't think they took the game to the players' level. They tried to change the whole game. And that's, uh, that's not good, especially when you have a, a defense that was ranked as high as ours and now they're at the bottom. So you're saying you, you don't think he played to his player's strengths enough? No, not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't build a team around your defense or your offense. You build the offense around your team, around the strengths of your team. Mm -hmm. Do you have confidence, though, that he, he will improve next year and beyond? Absolutely. Absolutely. This year was a rebuilding year, and I think there's a lot of bumps and bruises along the way, but I, I like his uh, discipline. I like his hunger to win. Um, if we can get an offensive line, mm -hmm. I think we'll be okay. So you think offensive line is more of a priority than quarterback? Absolutely. We have never had a premier quarterback, and we have three trophies. We had offensive line. We had the Hawks. Doug Williams is not considered a premier quarterback. I think the only quarterback we had that's considered even halfway premier was Joe Theismann. But if we didn't have that offensive line back then, we wouldn't have won those three Super Bowl trophies. Mm -hmm. Speaking of his discipline, uh, how do you think he handled the Albert Hainsworth situation? <laughs> I um, don't like the way it played out in the media, but I 100% back Shanahan on that one because I, I feel like Hainsworth never really bought into the team. He never bought into the team concept. And for all of us old head fans, it's all—it's always been about team. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen a player, to me, as selfish as Albert Hainsworth. However, he is a good player, but I think sometimes you, you may have to prove a point that winning is good, but not if it breaks up the team dynamic. And I think Albert Hainsworth, his attitude broke up the team dynamic. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned the Hogs. Uh, they were here during the Redskins glory years in the first Joe Gibbs era. Uh, when the Redskins won three Super Bowls. Three. <laughs> when will the Redskins win another Super Bowl? Ten years from uh, I honestly, you know, all Redskins fans say next year, next year, but I mean, if you're realistic and you know anything about football, we have to shore up the offensive line first. Um, we have to, I, I hate to say it, but that 3-4, get away from it, go back to what we were doing. Um, I say two to three years we'll be in playoff contention, maybe five years we'll be ready for the Super Bowl. Mike Shanahan, uh, first season as the Redskins coach, uh, how would you assess his, his performance this year? The Redskins will have either six or seven wins based on how they do today, which is more than, than last year. Well, I think he's a good coach. I think that uh, he, he's going to be good for the Redskins organization. I, I, I really truly believe that, you know, if they give him full reign, which I think people are seeing, and that's what he's all about, you know. He, he doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're paying a guy $120 million, you can sit on the bench. And, uh, I like the way he's doing that. I think, you know, that he's he's looking for people that want to play. 
And uh, if you don't want to play, then they find somebody that wants to play. And I think that's what we need. I think, you know, personally, nothing against Dan Snyder, but Dan Snyder needs to step back a little bit and let, 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 the, coach, let the coach do what he knows what to do. And that's, that's, you know, football. Let him go ahead and pick the players. And, uh, you know, and then as far as the defense goes, the Albert Hainsworth thing, I, I, I love Albert Hainsworth. I, I truly believe he, he is, is good at what he does. And he should, I, I'm not backing him or anything, but the man should be in a 4-3. And I, I, I believe that our defense, with the personnel that we have and the people, the players that we have, I don't know why they don't do a 4-3. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I personally think, why not? You know, I don't really know too many defenses right now that are even doing a 3-4, to be honest with you. I mean... Steelers. Yeah, well, this, and they do, they are. You're right, they're good. So, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying with the personnel they have, they can do a 3-4. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just really think, why not do the 4-3? Why not? Well, you speak highly of Shanahan uh, and, and, and his disciplinarian. How long do you think it'll be before the Redskins are in, in playoff contention and really uh, they're, they're close to an NFC East title or they win the NFC East? I agree with you. I see a lot of fans leaving at halftime now. They're frustrated. They're not seeing anything changing. Um, the offensive line. I mean, for 10 years now, I've, we've been coming to these games and it's the same old song and dance. And um, I truly believe that I, I don't, I mean, and I'm sure the coaches have to see the same thing as you and I are seeing. I mean, what's going on with that offensive line? And then, you know, my father, he tells me, well, the, you know, that's because they're not out there. I don't want to hear that crap. Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay wasn't supposed to do anything. And, and, and who are these guys on their front line? And they're doing it. And then you got these other teams doing it, Atlanta. Right. Uh, so I don't want to hear that anymore, man. They, they, they're out there. Uh, I don't know where they're at, but we need to find them. And uh, I think Shanahan's the type of kind of guy he he will find them. And now, I, I think he'll do it next year. I mean, I think I think we'll be in the playoffs next year or the year after that. Now you mentioned about uh, Snyder needing to step away and letting the coaches in front office make the decisions. Do you think Snyder in any way influenced uh, the trade for Donovan McNabb? Yeah, I do. Probably. I, I mean, well, he was the one that gave him that big, I'm sure, that big bonus thing. I mean, why, why do why do that? I mean, I don't know, man. You know, the, the man to me, personally, he, he could he could benefit that team by putting that money towards three other players or something, two other guys, instead of just one guy that's probably not even going to be around for another year or two. I mean, why? You know, and he, he continually just does, does these things like pays these players that don't even play, or, or, you know, and they're getting paid and they sit on the bench, you know? Right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm sick of seeing that. I'm sick of it. I, I just, you know, I don't know what to say about him with that. I mean, right. come on, man, wake up, smell the coffee. So what do you think of Mike Shanahan in his first year with the Redskins? Been interesting. He's been, uh, <laughs> couldn't stay out of the media, that's for sure. I think he's been, got the team going in the right direction, but, you know, I'd like to stay out of the media some more, have some of the things handled more in-house than, Air it out in the media. Although the media loves to try to draw up, uh, draw attention to things. So yeah, uh, it is what it is. Some of the critics were saying that his ego gets in the way too much. Do you agree with that? Well, his ego is what's made him a great coach. So you just kind of take the good with the bad. So. How do? You, uh, what do you think of the way he handled the uh, Albert Hainsworth and Donovan McNabb controversies? Uh, could have been done better, but I think it was way blown out of proportion as opposed to what it really was. It was just him setting the line with uh, Hainsworth. I think what really gets missed is they lost, a lot of people lose sight of the fact that they made his contract basically a one-year contract, so if there's a salary cap next year, they don't have to carry any of his salary for next year. So they're not hampered by him, so they can cut him at the end of the season. Or he can elect to be a free agent. Right. So, and, but he'll have to give back $16 million. I don't think that'll happen. Now you're referring to McNabb, right? No, that's uh, Hainsworth. 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 But, but McNabb can be cut after the season two. Yes, yes, and then they don't owe him anything but that 3.5. Right. So what do you think the uh, Redskins' uh, biggest needs are in the offseason? Just like it has been for the last three or four years. Offensive line, offensive line, offensive line, and then defensive line. You know? After that, uh, quarterback, uh, wide receiver, secondary linebacker, outside linebacker, I mean, pretty much you name it. If you get a chance, get a running back somewhere down the road, but I like train. If you have an offensive line, you got a running back. I don't care who you go. And Shanahan's proven that he can go down to the quickie mark and pick up a running back and start. Right. Yeah. Prediction record-wise for next season? Uh, nine and seven. 